Welcome to the Jason Coleman Show. Today is our 94th episode. I'm so glad that you've tuned in today to join our family for a piano concert from our home 
to yours. Now right out of the gate here, you might notice something isn't quite right with my voice. I hope it doesn't sound as bad to your ears as it does to mine. I've been under the weather this whole week. I'm feeling much better now, but my voice <clears throat> is barely hanging on. So I'm in good shape to play these songs for you today on the piano. But you know, when it comes to the talking, I could use some help introducing these songs and setting up our stories here today because it's a very important episode in the history of country music we have in store for you and we want to get it right. So, lucky for all of us, right out of the gate here, I have a special guest to help me out all episode long with my co-hosting duties. So, would you please make welcome today's special guest co-host, Mr. Avery Kramer Coleman. Avery, how are you doing today? Good. Are you excited to be my co-host? Mm-hmm. Avery, you've done a lot of songs on our shows, but you never have been a co-host before, but I need some help. I've been a little bit sick. Are you ready to help me out today? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, Avery, are you ready? Here you go. Can you say uh, what you're supposed to say here? You see that? Welcome to the Jason Coleman Show. I'm Avery, and this is my daddy, Jason. Today's show is called Country Politan. That's right, Country Politan. That's a big word. I'm playing a concert of the country pop hits that took over the charts from the late 60s through the 70s and beyond. Like I opened our show with, what's the name of the song, Avery? Help Me Make It Through the Night. That was written by Chris Christopherson, of course, and made most famous by Sammy Smith in 1970. And then I played for you... Kiss an Angel, Good Morning. Oh, that's a great song, isn't it, Avery? Yeah. You like that one? Charlie Pride, of course, one of the biggest stars of the country Politan era. And then, Avery, what is up next? Can you see it? What's up next? Next. Next, Daddy will play a song from 1967. It was one of... The biggest country pop. Uh huh. Country pop what? Hit. Hits of all time. It calls. It's called Rose Garden. All right, let's do it. <laughs>
If you are just tuning in, welcome to The Jason Coleman Show. How many episodes is this, Avery? Number? 94. Episode number 94. Here, sit up here. Oh. And today's episode is all about the country politan style of the 60s, 70s, and beyond. And as you might hear from my voice, I've been a little bit under the weather this week, so I'm joined by a very special co-host today, Mr... Avery Kramer Coleman. That is you. Now, Avery, I'll talk for here just a minute about our episode today, then I'll call you back to help me introduce our next song, okay? Okay. Okay, thank you. Now, y'all might ask, <laughs> what a kid. You might ask, what actually does countrypolitan mean? It's really just a fancy word for country pop, more of an uptown, metropolitan kind of country music. And it was really the natural evolution of what started out as the Nashville sound. The Nashville sound emerged in the late 1950s as the leading producers at the time, Chet Atkins and Owen Bradley, helped to move Nashville country music into more of a pop direction, replacing the fiddles and the steel guitars and really the twang of country with a more sophisticated style with lush orchestration and background singers, all in an effort to hang on to a younger audience and, and keep country music relevant in the mainstream up against the rising tide of rock and roll music. So that's where you had all these records from stars like Patsy Cline, Jim Reeves, Eddie Arnold that really evolved country music into something that was more appealing to fans and listeners who might not have thought they even liked country music. And that's too where the Nashville A-team of studio musicians, including my granddad Floyd Kramer, made such history with how their instrumentation complimented these artists in such a classy kind of way. So of course this Nashville sound wasn't the only direction that country music took. You had other offshoots like Outlaw Country, Bakersfield Sound, and we're not even touching bluegrass and more traditional sounds like that. But these Nashville sound records helped to keep country music from becoming just a fringe genre of music. And as the 60s rolled on, the Nashville sound continued to evolve into even more of a pop sound where it was really hard to draw a line between country and pop music. You had pop artists with country hits, and you had country artists who were crossing over with mainstream pop hits as well. You had the rhythm and the beat of a pop song with some of the instruments and the folksiness of a country song. And this country pop fusion took on the name Countrypolitan. It's pretty interesting when you think about it, like the evolution of country music, you can hear a direct line from the more traditional sound of someone like Kitty Wells, transitioning to the Nashville sound of Patsy Cline, onward to the country politan sound of Lynn Anderson, like we're covering today. And you can keep following that line really on through the decades as well. I love this era of country politan music. These songs are so great and so timeless and so it's time for me to stop uh, talking. This is the most I've talked all week long and play another song for you. Hey, Avery, can you come help me introduce one more song? Oh, here he comes. Please welcome back my co-host to introduce our next song and give my voice a break. Here, what's our next song, Avery? Up next. Up next on the Jason Coleman Show, Daddy will play a song by Charlie Rich in 1973. What's it called? It's called The Most Beautiful Girl. That's a great song. I'll play it for you right now. Thanks, Avery. <laughs>
Of course, George Jones and Tammy Wynette were two of the biggest stars of the Countrypolitan style, right, Avery? Yep. Yep. So. Let's listen to one more Countrypolitan song by George Jones. Let's do it. Oh, folks, now it's the best part of our show we've all been waiting for. He's been a fantastic co-host so far, reading from a teleprompter, by the way. Our new little reader up here is doing all of his lines so well. <laughs> but now it's time for a song from our special guest. And actually, for today's song from Avery, we have a video to share with you from his music school's recital earlier this month. Avery, can you introduce your song? You want to introduce your song? Here, look. You want to introduce it? I worked really, 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 <laughs> really, really, really hard. How hard? I worked really, 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 really hard. Really? And? <laughs> and I was very proud to play this song at my piano recital. Okay. Let's take a look. Hi, my name's Avery, and today I will play Out to Joy.
my goodness, great job, Avery. That was so good. You did such a great job at your recital. Was that really fun, playing Ode to Joy? Yeah. In front of all those people, all by yourself? Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness, were you proud? Mm-hmm. Oh, mommy and daddy and all your family and your music <clears throat> teacher were so proud of you. Oh my goodness, and now it's time for summer and we're just having a blast. Avery, we're so proud of you. Thank you for your awesome song today. Hey, and thank you for helping me co-host when I'm a little under the weather. You have done such a great job. Has it been fun today? Mm-hmm. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad. Thank you, Avery. Well, folks, it's almost time to wrap up before our voice gives totally out. But before we go, Avery, can you help me with one last thing? We need to thank all of our supporters for making today's show possible. Natalie, who's, by the way, helping behind the scenes to wrangle us here together. Natalie, Avery, and I thank you for all of your support. And in particular, we want to thank the following people who are our gold and silver supporters. Avery, can you help me read some names here to thank some of our friends? First of all, say thank you to... Thank you to Martha White, Martha White, Randall Murphy, Randall Murphy, Sue Lorenzetti, Sue Lorenzetti, Marilyn, Marilyn Klinger, Marilyn Klinger, Lynn Hammer, Lynn Hammer, Michelle Paul, Michelle Paul, Ida Miller, Ida Miller, Debbie Coffey, Debbie Coffey, Liz Cooper, Liz Cooper, and last Carol Webb. Carol Webb. Hey, do you know who's Carol Webb? Who? G-Gran. Say thanks, G-Gran. Thanks, G-Gran. Did you know G-Gran watches your show? And she's a supporter, too. Oh, my goodness. G-Gran's watching right now. Is we love G-Gran's G-Gran. real name Carol? <laughs> That's right. Is uh, her last name Webb? That's right. Wow, we're blowing your mind. Your great-grandmother is watching right now, and she's one of our biggest supporters. Say thanks, Carol Webb. Thanks, Carol Webb. And thanks, G-Gran. Thanks, G-Gran. <laughs> We're blowing Avery's mind. And thanks to all of our supporters for making our show possible. If you all enjoy our shows, we hope that you'll sign up to join our supporter family. You can sign up at jasoncolemanmusic.com slash what, Avery? Slash join. Slash join. That's right. All right. Thank you all again. And Avery, should I play one last song to wrap up our show? Yeah. Here. Say thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. And what should I play, Avery? Last date. All right, I'll play one last song. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, Avery. And I'll close with You're one welcome. last song. <laughs>
your favorite piano songs from the Jason Coleman Show are now available on CD. 13 albums and counting, including a brand new tribute to the great Ronnie Millsap. Plus the iconic songs of Elvis Presley. Also the country standards of George Jones and Tammy Wynette. And the feel-good music of John Denver. These new CDs are the latest in my live from the Jason Coleman Show series, joining the timeless music of Glenn Campbell, the smooth sounds of the Carpenters, the smash hits of Roy Orbison, and the Young Years, a concert from my granddad Floyd Kramer's childhood piano. plus a gospel piano concert, Hymns from the Heart. Also, Christmas Hymns from the Heart. And don't forget my country gold piano collection spanning the greatest country hits of the 50s and 60s, the 70s and 80s, and the 90s and 2000s. There goes my head. All 13 of these live from the Jason Coleman Show CDs are on sale now. Get the entire collection in one discounted bundle or check out our mix and match deal. Buy any three and get your fourth CD free. Order online at jasonmusicstore.com or call 833-633-8885 to order over the phone. So if you're a fan of our Sunday shows, now you can enjoy the music anytime on CD live from the Jason Coleman Show. Order yours today. You're listening to The Jason Coleman Show on WSM Radio.